In this project, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Maps SDK for Android and how to use the Google Directions API. So um, what we're going to be building is a chat application. You can see that right now I'm actually in a chat room. If I go back, um, I'm in a chat room and I can get a list of all the users in a chat room by clicking on the users list up here. Uh, now I'm brought to a view where it shows a list of all the users in the chat room up top and it shows a map on the bottom. Uh, I can expand the map by clicking on the right up there, this button on the right, or shrink it down to regular size. Um, so these are going to be the locations of all the users in the chat room. If I click one of them, uh, it asks me if I want to determine a route to that user. If I click the info, the info window, I'm prompted to uh, confirm that I want to determine a route to that user. I can click yes, and then a bunch of routes are calculated. Uh, so these, these things are called polylines, these things that are these lines that are added to the map. I can click on them and the dialog or the info window on the right will change. So you can see this one's trip number two, it's going to take 11 minutes. This is trip number three, it's going to take 12 minutes. And this is trip number one, it's going to take 10 minutes. Um, if I click on a different user, I can do the same thing. So if I want to determine a route, that's going to then give me the trip duration for that user. But that's not all this application does. It's actually keeping track of all the positions of every user in the chat room in real time. So the, the positions of each user are being uploaded to Firestore, which is a database, if you're not sure. Uh, and then the positions of those users are retrieved by whoever's looking at the map. So essentially, it is kind of like the way Uber does things. It's tracking the real-time GPS coordinates of anybody who's using the application. Um, and as you can see up top here, you can see there's an, a notification telling me that Google Maps 2018 is running. That's required for telling the user that there's a service running in the background that's making GPS updates to the database. So that's how we're doing it. There's a service running in the background that's updating the GPS coordinates of the user that's using the application. If I move the application to the background, you can see that icon is still there because the GPS system is still running and it's still updating the coordinates of that user in the database. So it's it's uh, it's kind of like Uber, it's kind of like Snapchat uh, because it's it gives you the ability to see where everybody is in the chat room and uh, get their location. So like if these were real users and they were driving around, you would see them moving around. I'll give you a demonstration. So here's Firestore and here is a collection called user locations. You can see one of them is highlighting in orange, that one right there, uh, because this is this is constantly being updated. So you can see the timestamp change. The location hasn't changed, so it's not updating. There it changed a bit. Uh, but that's that's this application running right now because there's a service running in the background that's updating the position of the user that I'm logged in with. It's constantly running in the background. Uh, so let's see what happens when I change one of these GPS coordinates. I'm going to shrink this window because I want you to be able to see uh, see live what's happening. So make sure I have them all in all in view here. And so I'm going to click on this user. So this user is named one. So I'm going to find the user in the database named one, which is right here. And now I'm going to change his GPS coordinates. So I'm going to change this just to uh, maybe to a five. I'm going to hit update. And then we're going to see what happens to the map. So you can see he was moved. So that means that this application is retrieving the coordinates of whoever's in the database or whoever's in the chat room in real time and then updating the map. So you're going to learn all kinds of cool stuff. If you're trying to build any kind of like a delivery app, a taxi app, anything that requires real time GPS coordinates or calculating directions, making custom markers, because as you can see, I'm using custom markers here, any of that kind of stuff, this is going to be the course for you. It's free. It's on YouTube. So check it out.